Welcome to Mother Daughter, Daughter Projects. Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're going to show you how we made this outdoor PVC privacy screen. Come join us. Prior to assembling all the PVC, I sanded everything to give it a little bit of tooth. And I used this really kind of fun hack. I used an orbital battery powered sander. I turned it upside down and clamped it to my workspace. And that way I was able to use the sander hands free. Next, we made a PVC frame for the slices to fit into. We made the height 45 inches by 35 inches wide. I used the miter saw to cut the one inch pipe to length. We used two elbows and two T's to attach it all together. Next, we moved on to cutting a ton of various sizes of PVC pipe. We clamped a piece of wood to the left side to act as a stop block so all the rounds were the same thickness. We cut the PVC pipe on our miter saw and we quickly realized that the cut pieces were unpredictable. Some of them flew away from miter saw, some of them stayed in place. So if you're gonna do this, make sure you use all safety precautions, don't have anything behind your miter saw. We also did some research afterwards and found that a higher tooth count on a blade can work a little bit better. Ours is only a 60 count, so something a little bit higher could have done a better job. Also, it's probably gonna ruin your blade, so keep that in mind, don't use a super expensive blade to cut your PVC. I wasn't comfortable cutting the shorter pieces on the miter saw, so I used our portable bandsaw to get a few more rounds cut from these pieces. And with a higher tooth count on the blade, it made nice safe cuts, but there was a little bit more to clean up, which we did on the orbital sander. We placed our first round of cut slices. We laid the frame on a piece of insulation foam so it could be easily moved around. We realized pretty quickly that we were going to need a lot more PVC rounds, so we purchased more pipe and made the cuts off camera. Cutting and sanding PVC is really, really messy. It's really important to protect your eyes and your nose, and it's important to protect the environment. Don't just sweep that into the environment. Use a vacuum to clean it all up. With all our slices placed, we opened a tube of construction adhesive, placed it in our battery-powered caulk gun, and started to glue the pieces. We had all our PVC laid out, ready to go, and it was time to glue. So here we are starting the gluing process, and the first thing we realized was, it's a slow process, so it took probably about four hours to get the whole thing done. Uh, we had some music playing, so we were doing okay. But what we did is we drew a little line where the where the pipes connected, then we glued uh, using construction adhesive, and we just kept the process going. And quickly we realized that it was better if we both did our own thing, and we, uh, we were able to complete it a little bit faster when we did that. We got our last piece in place and a quick high five for a job well done. We waited 24 hours and then lifted it up to see if it would hold. Success. Here you can see we're spray painting PVC white and we're doing that because PVC can yellow over time and we're hoping that this will keep it from doing that. Back in my house, we removed the old screen and brought in the new one. We're using two foot long rebar to secure it to the ground. It fit nicely, but we had two issues. One, it was leaning, and two, the ground was uneven, so it was not level. No matter, we cut a two and a half inch piece of PVC and added it to the left side so the structure would be level. Then we got two more pieces of rebarb and that added a lot more structural support and allowed it to stand up straight. And here it is, all finished. We love the look it adds to my curb appeal. And if you look closely, you can find a hidden Mickey. What we learned. When we finished this, I looked at it and I said, you know, this looks like a piece of art. I really love the look of it. And we've even talked about putting some air plants in the bigger holes, uh, just to add a little bit more, more flavor to it. Because it looks like art, I've actually had a couple ideas of using this uh, a design similar to this inside my living room. So stay tuned, we might do that in the future. You're probably wondering why we didn't use PVC glue. Well, we knew we were gonna have to do a lot of gluing and PVC glue is really very toxic and very smelly and we really didn't want to deal with that. So we, that's why we used the outdoor construction adhesive. And your biggest question might be, how's it gonna hold up? Because that's our biggest question. And we really have no idea. Uh, we wanted to try to make it as strong as possible. So uh, we'll see if it holds up. We'll keep you updated on our weekly show, Workshop Wednesday. Uh, we'll let you know if the, we have any issues with it. We do have extreme hot, uh, sometimes cold and rainy temperatures here in Florida. So it'll be interesting to see mm -hmm. the progress of it. So if you like this project and want to see more from us, please visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe right here on YouTube. Click the bell and you'll be alerted to all our new projects. Should we say hi to the neighbors?
Hi, Jenna. Hi, Noah and Jacob. Oh, <laughs> we're on YouTube. <laughs> we're on the YouTubes. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 